Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time I will give a clear definition of derivatives and illustrate the meaning of limits in a given function. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. It's of a given function. So we have here the definition of limits. And what do you mean by limit of a given function? So we have here the limit concept. The limit is a kind of quantity that is being approached but never reached. So it, it can be nearest to the given point but uh, not exactly the same, the actual point. So we have here, this is the illustration. This is the graph of the given function. We have first the definition of the limit of a function. The limit of f of x, the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l. So, how you are going to read this one? This one. The limit of f of x as x approaches a is l. So, symbol this one. The limit of f of x as x approaches to a is L. So the limit, for example, the limit function f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3 over x minus 1 is limit of 2x squared plus x minus 3 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 is equal to 5. Why? So we have an explanation why. Remember here the zeros of x here, the zeros of this function is 1 at x equals 1. Why? It will make the equation 0. So we have here the given function 2x squared 2x squared plus x minus 3 over x minus 1 when you are going to factor out 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 over x minus 1. So your f of x, 2x plus 3, and your x, your domain here, your x must not be equal to 1. That is the zeros of the given function. Your x-intercept is negative 3 halves, and your y-intercept is 3. So when you're going to graph here, we have what we call as neighborhood of x equals 1. So the interval within the vicinity of x equals 1. So x equals 1 is here, this one. x equals 1 and your y is equal to 5. If you look at the graph here, this is y equals 5. So if you look at the graph, there are numbers closer to 1. Before 1 and after 1. So before 1 is 1 minus the delta and after 1 is 1 plus delta. Same with the y, we have the neighborhood of 5. We have before 5, 5 minus epsilon. Epsilon is just an arbitrary constant here. And after 5 is 5 plus epsilon. If you look at here the table here, this is your reference. Uh, we have, so if, if your x is 1, your y here is 5. So, delta minus x. So, we have the value before, before, closer to 1. Before 1. So, here. These are the values before 1. So, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.9, 0 0.999, 0 0.999. Closer to 1. But not exactly equal to 1. And... Nearest also to 1, after 1 is 1.001, 1.01, 1 1.1, 1 1.25. Same with the, the epsilon which is y. For y here, if you look at here, the value of y, uh, 3.5 nearest to, nearest to 5. So 4.998, 4.98, 4.8. Uh, 4.5 Okay, and after 5 we have also 5.002 5.02 5.2 and so on. So that's the meaning of limits There are numbers closer to 1 Before 1 and after 1 Not just exactly 1 Since 
your function must be closer to 1. Not exactly 1, since this is the zeros. That's the meaning of limit. A kind of quantity that is being approached but never reached that actual point. That's what we call as neighborhood of the given function. The limit of 2x squared plus x minus 3 over x1 is equal to 5. Why? It's because we can factor into 2x plus 3 and x minus 1. So we can cancel x minus 1. The substitute the limit. So 2 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 5. So the answer is 5. We are now in the... Uh, we review the general definition of a given limit. So the limit f be a function that is defined at every number in some interval containing a. a is an arbitrary number, except possibly at a itself. The limit f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l. You are going to write like this. Limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l. If given any epsilon greater than zero, however small, there exists delta greater than zero. And if your x minus a, absolute value of x minus a, greater than zero but less than the delta, then the f of x minus the l is less, less than the epsilon. In other words, okay. there exists delta greater than zero. If the distance from x to a is greater than the delta but less than zero, and then the distance from f of x to l is less than the epsilon. And we have also what we call un uniqueness theorem. If, if limit of f of x as x or n approaches to a is equal to l sub 1, and the limit of f of x as this must be x x approaches to a is equal to l sub 2 then l sub 1 is equal to l sub 2. that's all for the definition of derivatives or limits please watch the next video about the different theorems on limits comment down for another topic to discuss in the future thank you god bless